Hello, pretty faces! Welcome back to Coco Beats, my super cool jewelry making channel. This is Laura, and today I'm going to show you how to make this easy and beautiful choker. If you are a beginner, this is perfect for you because it's a piece of cake. Here you have the list of supplies you will need. First of all, cut two threads a bit shorter than your neck measurements and two threads two meters long each. Be careful, you may need more, it all depends on your neck measurements. Let's start making three square knots. Grab the left strand and go up and over top of the two middles. Take the left strand over the tail, go underneath the two middle and come up through the gap on the left. Pull everything nice and neat together, so that was one half. And now let's make the opposite effort to finish this knot. So grab the right strand, go up and over top, take the left strand and put it over the tail. Now go on the underside and up through the loop. Pull to tighten very well, try to make it as tight as possible. And that's it, you made a square knot. Okay, let's do it one more time. Start by crossing the left strand over the middle and put it under the right. Now take the right strand and bring it under the T middle and up through the loop. Tighten it up by pulling both strands at the same time. This time you have to leave half centimeters gap in between the knot and now repeat those steps in reverse. Take the right strand and cross it over the middle and under the left. Then the left strand goes underneath and up through the loop. As you can see, the middle strands never move. Remember to tighten very well that second half of the knot. Repeat these steps two more times, so you have to make two more knots. Try not to forget, you have to leave a gap of half a centimeter between the knots and tighten it very well in the second half. This time add a bead on the right strand and make the square knot as usual. Cross the left strand over the middle and put it under the right. Take the run strand and bring it under the two middle and up through that triangle on the left. Pull to tighten leaving the bead on that gap on the right. And repeat those steps in reverse. Take the right strand and cross it over the middle and under the left. Then the left strand goes underneath and up through the loop. Pull to tighten both the strands at the same time, remember? And well, all you have to do is to repeat these steps as many times as you need to cover all your neck. Just remember one little detail. You started three knots without any bead, so you have to finish making three knots without any bead. Finish this necklace with this kind of findings. Uh, you can put some super glue, but honestly, it's not needed. Just use your pliers and press those little wings very well, and that should be enough to close it. Just try to keep those four strands inside the finding, and that's it. Obviously, you will need to put another finding on the other side. This type of findings are really easy to use and you don't need any, any technique or any fancy tool to use them, so it's perfect for you if you're starting. Cut all those threads and you're gonna burn it a little bit just to seal it. Be careful because these findings are metal, so they can be really hot. And do the same on the other side, you should have something similar to this. Now add a jump ring and a lobster clasp to one of the findings and that's it! Your necklace is done!
then the next step is something totally optional it depends on you uh, if you want to make it like mine just fold it in half looking for the center and add a thumb uh, i made this little rose with a piece of wire but you can use whatever you like and that's all for today ladies and gentlemen if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative diy jewelry hit the bell to be notified every time i post new videos Hope to see you in my next tutorial, but until then remember, stay beautiful, smile and be very, very, very happy!